Rico, where are we today? Today we find ourselves in the land of Tuscany, in beautiful Lunigiana, and specifically just a stone's throw from the Florentine town of Fivazzano, in this historic home that is on the list of National Historic Homes. Is it a convent? It is a Carmelite convent. Shall we go and see it? Let's go and see it. The foundation stone of the monastery was laid in 1568, the ascent of Elisabetta di Serdnano, whose son Raphael, who entered Carmelite religious life in Pisa, was its founder and first prior. The cloister adjacent rooms have been preserved to the present day. Conservative restoration work on the cloister was completed in 2008 and restored the wall paintings to their former glory. We are in this fantastic Carmelite convent where we can see these beautiful frescoes done around 1700 by the painter Lemmy. It feels like seeing the baptism. Very good, Deborah. The convent is now an exclusive location for weddings, corporate conferences, and team building in a truly unique historical setting. It also offers two apartments for hospitality. Federico, an important person lived in this convent since the 1960s. Would you tell us about him? Yes, a great practitioner, I would say. A doctor who was one of the first who studied acupuncture and homopathy on a national level. This incredible, natural environment, you can feel a special energy. It's true, Federico, the energy is beautiful. It's really a spiritual energy given by the history of the convent. Because he was really a luminary in this field. Very interesting, really fascinating. Thank you, Federico. Thanks to you. Federico, what a wonderful place. An enchanting place. Come and discover it. <laughs>